What's up guys, this is Brandon here from Tidewater Aerial Solutions and today I've got my LiPo charger battery set up here. Um, I went with the Tenergy uh, 80 watt balance charger, discharger. This thing will do all kinds of stuff. Um, it'll check your voltage, you can test your motors out. Um, uh, there's lots of things you can look at. There, just look, Anything you really want to do with RC power and you probably can do with this thing. I'm just going to be using it for uh, battery charging for my LiPos. Um, cool thing about this one is it's got a built-in AC power adapter. So you pretty much just, um, you know, plug and play type thing. Hook up your power, plug in the wall. I'll go ahead and plug it in the wall and get her started up for you. So when you start her up, immediately it goes into the select program mode. I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. I'm going to show you guys pretty much how to connect the other part of the battery for charging. Um, so I went with uh, 1300 milliamp hour batteries um, I think these are right around 15 to 20 bucks something around that price range not bad for you know the size and looks like they're pretty good quality nice package sealing and everything too so we're good so uh, this is a 4s um, so just go through how to set it up and kind of get it charged and so first I want to set up my uh, charging leads so um, you just basically black and red, black's negative, red's positive, plug that in, go ahead and connect your battery, and then we'll connect our balance lead. So the balance lead's pretty much what you just have to pay attention for whatever type of battery you have, and it's pretty much, it's easily marked, and the connector only fits a certain size, so that should do, it should be pretty simple. Alright, so once you get it connected, I'm just going to leave it hanging here so you can kind of read better. So, um, so I just want to select LiPo. Um, it's going to ask you type. There we go. So I already got this set up, but I'll go through. So you see the LiPo is blinking. You just toggle through different types if you're doing different, but this one's LiPo. Um, so as far as the amper, amper charge. So you're going to basically take your um, milliwatt hour rating and move the decimal over three. So this one's gonna give you 1.3 amperes. So on the pack it says I can do no more than two, but I'm gonna stick with one because it's, it's um, two times that number, which is the C rating. So I'm gonna stick with one, which is 1.3 amps for charging, just to keep it safe. I don't want any explosions or catching on fire, and I want these batteries to last because you know everything adds up whenever you start buying all this stuff. So I'll select that. Um, oops. So um, got that selected. I got 4S. It's important. Um, it won't charge correctly, or it may overcharge, and you could cause a fire. Just make sure that matches. If you got 4S or 5S, 3S, you know, basically match it up with what you got. Once you get that done, it cycles through. Just hit start. Hold down start for a few seconds. It's going to check your batteries and it's going to tell you what you got um, make sure that jives with what type of battery you have 4 is for 4S so um, I'm good to go it's going to hit enter and we're going to start charging so this will cycle through and it's going to beep when it's done and that's pretty much all there is to it for uh, charging um, easy easy peasy so uh, yeah if you guys are interested um, I got this thing off of Amazon, not too bad. I'll put the link in the description. Um, from what I was searching, it was the best deal for me. I went through some cheaper knockoff ones. I'm not sure if this is a knockoff or not, but everything feels solid and it's got its own power supply. You pretty much buy this and you're done. You know, it comes with a whole bunch of different connectors. Um, pretty much, these are one of these is going to get get your charging done, and it has directions and all that stuff, but. I think it's a good charger. Um, check it out if you guys are looking for a charger. I think I'm, this will probably be the only one I ever buy. And it doesn't seem like it's too expensive either. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, stay tuned. All right.